Hello, I'm Hiawatha Jones, and welcome to African American Reads. I'm going to read a book today called Bananimous Hair. The author is Olive Senior, and illustrator is Laura James. Today we're going to read about a little girl called Jamila. So let's get reading. Time to plait Jamila's hair. But the comb has vanished into thin air. It's up in the ceiling, Jamila shouts. The elephant's hiding it in his trunk. Oh, really? Last time, it was in the camel's hump, the kangaroo's pouch, the toucan's beak, the mouse's squeak. Now, Missy, no more playing. Spin around. And let's get braiding. Aha! Look where the comb's been hiding. Woo! Jamila cried. Oh, come on now, Jamila. There's, this is no time for you to pout. You'll be late for school unless I comb it out. Close your eyes. I'll be done within this plait by then. I hate my hair. It hurts and it's pain. Oh, do stop making such a fuss. Why do you hate your hair so much? Because it's bad. It's bad, 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 and I am mad, mad, mad. Why can't I have good hair like my class? Shasha, Sarah, Brittany, and Claire. Oh, really? What's so good about their hair? They have hair that's long and it's soft and it's pretty. It glows as it flows without plaits, without pins, long or short. It can't swish as they wish. Oh, Jamila, you silly. Why want their hair when the most fabulous, spectacular, bonobus hair in the world is right here? Really and truly, you see, your hair is electric and free. While your friend's hair always looks the same, your hair can frame your face or swish off into stratosphere. Hair that can say something different every day of the week, every month of the year. Want to try? Oh, yes. A different head of hair every day of the year. Well... Let's start with this week. So, I can have puffs on Monday. Plaits on Tuesday. Braids on Wednesday. Cornrows on Thursday. Twist outs on Friday. Yes, and on Saturday, I can just be wild. And on Sunday, you must be grandmother's child. But guess what? No more hiding the comb. No more crying. Agree? And bananimous you, for the first day of school, here's your new to. Sometimes... Mama might be busy, so ask Big Sister Lizzie, because she's been there too, with her electric, anonymous, fantastic, twirly, whirly, curly, fuzzy, snappy, nappy, wavy, crazy hair. Anonymous hair. I hope you liked our story today about Jamila and how she learned to love her hair. So how do you wear your hair? Do you wear it like this? Or do you wear puffs? Or cornrows? Or do you just wear it back in a ball? How do you wear your hair? How do you take care of it? Well, we have some products here. We have the comb. Remember, wide tooth comb to take care of your hair? 
And remember, we had such a hard time finding this comb in the book. There's shampoo, conditioner, and lotion. And guess what? You get to win some of these products. But it's always a catch. You have to answer three questions from the book. The first question is, how did Jamila wear her hair on Tuesday? Question number two is, where was the comb hiding the first time? And number three is, who else can help Jamila with her hair? if her mother can. So answer those three questions and you can win a travel size version of these products. Thank you and see you next week. Boonanimous hair! <laughs>